preface everything by saying I don't know why I feel like I have to do this, but I do feel sorry for these people in these poor situations, but there, frankly, are hundreds of millions of poor people around the world, and the United States cannot be the repository for third world countries and, and people who are, are living in vile situations. We feel sorry for them. We want them to, to, to lift themselves up and figure out a way to fix their situations, like in Venezuela. But as a civil society, we have to say, no, you can't be doing this, because otherwise we become an uncivil society. Well, there's no question about it, and, and, and look at the numbers are even worse. There's, a, there's over four billion poor people in the world, and uh, all of them would probably love to be, be in the next caravan if this one succeeds. Um, there's a lot of poverty, there's a lot of uh, bad things that happen around the world, but immigration is not the solution to every tragedy or misfortune that occurs uh, somewhere in the world. So we have Guatemala, they, they uh, sliced through Guatemala relatively quickly, picked up people, and now they're slicing their way through Mexico. I don't know exactly where they are uh, in Mexico. Um, but the bottom line is these two countries have not, will not, or are not stopping them. They're not doing what President Trump is asking, and that is, hey, whoa, wait a minute. These people are literally marauding through your country. Can you please stop them? Apparently they can't. Now, do you believe that they're that inept, they don't have the ability to stop them, or they just don't want to? Well, actually, the, the Mexicans actually did more than I ever thought they would do uh, before, or I've, that I've ever seen them do before, in trying to stop it. But, but clearly, they have the right to arrest every single one of those people for being in Mexico illegally. Right. Uh, Guatemala could have arrested everybody that entered from Honduras or anywhere else, El Salvador, anywhere along the way. But those, uh, most of those countries have no interest in uh, stopping illegal immigration because it helps them. I mean, those, they, they no longer have to worry about people being poor and, and unhappy. Uh, and secondly, if they get to the United States, they're going to get jobs and send money home. Um, so there's a great incentive on the part of poor countries to encourage uh, illegal immigration rather than stop it. And, you know, we might be saying to ourselves, why now? Why is this happening at this moment in time? Well, it, it's pretty clear to me why. Because this issue has been in the news since Donald Trump uh, was sworn in as president of the United States. He's trying to build the wall. He's trying to secure the border. He's trying to deport. He's trying to work within the loopholes, laws that we have right now and, and make sure that this country is secure. And so what the message is, yes, Donald Trump is doing this over here, but over here, the courts are saying, no, you can't secure this country. And the Congress, the Congress, Peter, is doing almost nothing on this. Congress has done nothing about immigration that's helpful for the last uh, 50 years or more. Um, they talk a lot. Um, there's a million proposals, some of which are good, many of which are bad, uh, but none of them have gotten, have gotten passed. Um, you know, Congress has, has been, uh, has sold out to special interests on both sides of the political spectrum, and that's been the case probably for 100 years. And in my estimation, uh, this invading army, and I believe truly that's what it is, if, if they have designs to breach our border one way or another, either through a, a loophole of some kind or through coming in illegally, uh, going around our fencing and, and what have you, it is an invading army that, in my opinion, must be repelled, not only on behalf of the American people and not only on behalf of our civil society and our Constitution, but on behalf of all civil societies around the globe. You simply can't be a functioning country when you have a marauding group of people like this saying, hey, we demand entry into your house. If, if this group or any part of it gets through, there will be another group next month and another one after that. We've seen the same thing in Europe over the last three or four or five years, uh, where the, some, uh, the German leader, for example, uh, encouraged uh, uh, immigrants into, into Germany. And she took a million people, and that just causes more people to come. You cannot stop illegal immigration by rewarding it or encouraging it. This is an invading army of illegals, uh, as I've been saying here. And the president uh, has been tweeting about this, and he's saying to these countries, in particular Guatemala and Honduras, hey, we're going to hold you accountable. He says, in part, we will now begin cutting off or substantially reducing the massive foreign aid routinely given 
to them, that would be those countries. Uh, I believe uh, Guatemala in 2017 received about $175 million, so it's not an insignificant amount of money. And in my opinion, this is exactly what the president should be doing here. He has no choice, you know, and sending troops to the border, as he's saying, not just the National Guard. But this is a, this is a threat to our way of life when you have something like this going on. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.